Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about NetCoupler, which is an algorithm in our package for inferring causal pathways between high dimensional metabolomics data and external factors. Our motivation for designing and creating NetCoupler was to be able to make use of moderately high dimensional and complex network data and to be able to answer uh, uh, questions about causal pathways that involve that network. As illustrated by this figure or diagram, um, we want to know how an exposure like exercise might influence the network, how the network might influence an outcome like diabetes, or how an exposure might influence an outcome through the metabolic network. There are several main features of NetCoupler in that it can find that uh, likely network structure underlying the metabolic data. You can include uh, exposure and outcome uh, data and it finds that those potential causal links that, that uh, connect the exposure outcome and the network. It's also quite flexible in the type of models that you can use within it. So you can use linear regression models or Cox proportional hazard models. And because those models are used, you can also adjust for potential uh, confounding factors that might bias your results. And NetCoupler is designed as uh, to work with network graphs. So it's the results are uh, designed to be also visualized like that. So for instance, through tidy graph or G graph packages. So there are four basic phases of the NetCoupler algorithm. The first phase is to derive the underlying metabolic network uh, structure. And the second phase is then to use that, uh, that metabolic network structure and iteratively select the metabolic variables within called nodes. Uh, and set each node as an index node uh, and select the neighboring nodes of that index node. So in this case, that would be three neighbors for this index node. The third phase is to then calculate all possible combinations of uh, the index node with the neighboring nodes. So, and then set the, and then use them within a, in the model. In this case, there are three, neighbor, three neighboring nodes. That would be eight different combinations um, and representing eight models. The fourth phase is then taking those models and linking them with the exposure uh, E or the outcome O. And then based on some uh, specific threshold, classifying the, the link between exposure or outcome and the index node as either direct effect, ambiguous or no effect. The final graphical model output can allow for um, visually inferring about potential causal pathways. So for instance, uh, NetCoupler might identify two uh, direct effects here that, that are uh, the thicker lines with the arrows or two and two ambiguous effects, which are the thinner lines uh, from the exposure or towards the outcome. Then you can visually trace uh, the paths that go from the exposure to the outcome uh, through the network uh, graph and you can identify specific uh, metabolic variables here uh, marked as red as potentially uh, being on the causal pathway uh, between the exposure and the outcome. We are currently actively working on this, on this package, so there are some several limitations and areas to improve. Uh, it, they're quite tricky to visualize when you start to have too many variables, so we'll, that's something that we're working on uh, improving. Because the data has been pre-processed beforehand, the model out, the output estimates are difficult to interpret. And we also don't believe that this algorithm is best suited for purely explorative purposes. There should be some theoretical basis to the research question. The modeling also relies that the classification threshold also relies heavily on the uh, p-values. So we're working on using different types of uh, thresholds. And we've only tested this on cross-sectional and time to event data. So we don't know how it works in other settings. It's also quite slow. So we haven't tested it on networks with larger than 25 variables. And it's probably not suitable for very high dimensional data. Anyway, if you're interested in learning more, the package link is in the footer. Thanks for listening.